Good morning, and welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. I'm Kim, and I am your hostess for this knitting, spinning, dyeing, sometimes sewing, crafty little um, podcast <laughs> up from my home outside of Lima, Ohio. I was watching my cat as she got out of the picture. Um, I And I live at this house with my hubby, Randy, my puppy dog, Ginger, who hopefully will be quiet today, and my kitty cat, Fluffy, as you saw in the background. I am so happy to have my voice back. Um, it's still a work in progress. By the end of the day, I don't have any voice, but this is better than what it was a week ago. So anyways, today is January 31st. It's the 31st, boys and girls. That means Groundhog Day is coming up. <clears throat> Sorry. And this is episode 100. <laughs> Sorry, I have to have a little celebration. It's number 100. When I was teaching, we always did something special for the 100th day of school. Well, this is my 100th day of podcast. And hopefully nobody, well, I doubt if anybody's been able to go back and see the very first episodes because I had no idea how to edit anything. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm clearing my throat during the podcast. It's just left over from my cold. Um, but I've come a long way since then. I mean, I'm still not great at editing, but I'm better than I was. Anyways, um, we will have more news about the 100th day in a little bit. Don't worry. I did not forget. It is in my show notes, so I will help. Hopefully, I will remember if I look at my show notes. Now, <clears throat> the knitting that I'm going to show you is just a sample of what I've been doing because I have been doing an awful lot of work for Cece, but I don't mind doing it because her patterns are always so lovely. But the very first thing that I have to show you, and I'm leaving the needle in because I'm on the last square of the row and I'm for, afraid I'll forget where I'm at. I've been able to do of my daughter's temperature afghan. Boy, that looks blue, blue. It is not blue, blue. It is marina blue. My colors are off today. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, I cannot get it to be marina blue. Oh, well, it is marina, marina blue from Knit Picks. This is the Knit Pick Swish DK, and I'm using size four needles, and the pattern is the memory blanket. Now let me show you how many rows I have. I love that little white square there. One day where the temperature was that, that temperature. Anyways, I've got all these rows done, and the bottom row, you see all the little hanging threads. The bottom row was from when she was born, November 3rd. And this is a really wide afghan, which is what I want. I want them to be able to use it, you know, in whichever room they want. So, that is my, I think I'll cover my legs with it. I've been so cold lately. That is my, <clears throat> sorry, annual temperature afghan, which I am making for my daughter. That's why I keep saying she and all that. Um, let's see what else. Well, I, I can't show you the test bits that I'm doing for CC, but this is a sock. I have another sock that's in this bag. I have it in this bag because there's several different yarns that go with it. And I have, oh, it's sticking out. I can't let it stick out. A cow in this bag. So those are the three remaining projects that I'm working on for CC. Then in addition to that, Let's see if I can prop my show notes up somehow so I don't have to keep looking down. They may not let me. We shall see. Well, not so I can read it. Okay, sorry. I'm going to have to keep looking down just so I don't forget anything. My wonderful, wonderful scarf. Oh, my goodness. It's pretty long already. I still have a little bit more to do. I'm not even going to say if I'll get it done by next week. But, oh, this is Merino. And it is so soft, and it is so warm, and it'll be so nice for somebody. And after a general consensus, it's going to be a gift. I, I talked to my friends, and they agreed that it should be a gift. Of course, I think they all hope that it'll be a gift for them. 
But I there's only one scarf here, and I have a lot of friends and family. So that's the um, homespun scarf. Now, oh, my scrap yarn sock. Looky, looky, looky. It's just coming right along. Yay. I keep working on it. Any chance I get, I'll get it done one of these days. Did I tell you I lost the first one? It went into hibernation so long and it must have liked it. So it's a good thing these are scrap yarn socks because they're made out of scrap yarn. There will not be any two socks out of all my scrap yarn that will be alike, but that's okay. I don't mind. I like craziness, as you guys know by now. So let's see. That's that. The sock yarns. Oh, yeah. So thanks to Betsy, who shared this pattern with me. It's a chemo cap for kids, but it'll be for a big kid because I'm following the pattern right now. And I've just got the ribbing done. It's done in a bulky yarn. I don't even know what it is. Um, this was in that bag I got from the church. And so I, now I've got another basic pattern to follow while I'm knitting. So it's not that far, but it also works up quickly. So this and my scarf are wonderful for when I'm bouncing on the ball. I don't have to worry about dropping stitches. They're fast knits. It's just wonderful. Now I have something that says it's on my needle, but it's not. Oh, I also have a chemo cap. Oh, I, it's actually not finished. I have a string from the top. This was made from some of the alpaca that my friends gave me. It's so nice. I think I'm, I can't remember. I don't think I had it done last week, but we'll see. And then some wool yard that I had. And I just decided to spin those together. And it's a very, very soft hat. And I don't know if it will be too itchy. I can't decide. I will have to have a, I don't think it will be. It's very soft. So I think I will go ahead and send it out to chemo caps for kids. I've got to see if I could make, um, I don't know if I could make a pom-pom with this yarn. So if I can, then I will be doing that too. But there's another chemo cap. Yay! I like making these. It's so nice to be able to do things for kids that really need somebody to look after them and care for them besides their parents to know that they're in other people's prayers and thoughts and every time I knit something for the soup kitchen or chemo kids I'm always praying over them so there's a little blessing or the socks I guess that's soup kitchen anyways um I haven't touched my project bag I'm finally getting well enough that I can actually bend over without my nose dripping and all that disgusting stuff so I'm hoping next day or so I can actually get my sewing machine back out and I can work on it. So it shouldn't take but five or ten minutes. I just haven't been able to do it. So I've showed you the hat. Now you may notice there's something around my neck. Hmm, what could that be? Ta-da! I worked on, I, I, you can tell I haven't finished it because I bound this off last night. I haven't blocked it yet either because as if I decided before I went to sleep last night, I was going to get this done. So I did the binding off last night. This is the inflorescence from the sock yarn shawls, 15 lacy knitted shawl patterns. And this is my snow dyed glittery fingering weight yarn. Oh, the only way I would be ever be able to do anything similar to this would be if I have, we have another big snowfall, but it will not be the same colors. But it's gorgeous. It's soft. It's just nice. Anyways, I use size four needles on this along my yarn. Now, let's see. I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I think I've got it all. I do have one other thing I finished, but it's not from the needles. I made... And it says 100% handmade soap. This is made from goat milk. And I put uh, different pine seasoning, earth seasoning, essential oils in it. And it just smells so nice. Uh, 
I'm going to be making more. I just can't decide if I'm going to use the same fragrance or a different fragrance. But I really, really like that a lot. Okay, now, Knit Picks has a coupon code. A Knit Picks, Knit Crates. Um, which I have put down in the show notes. All you have to do is copy and paste it. And you can get $10 off of a Knit Crate. Yay! And speaking of Knit Crate, I changed it around. I decided to go for their Sock Yarn Club. I just thought I would try it. So I got this beautiful, beautiful yarn. And it's Ryberry Yarns, Unique Hand-Dyed Creations. This is called Red Fox, which is appropriate. Makes me think I need to make something for my granddaughter out of it. Because she always liked foxes. Um, here is the company information. It's Ryberry Yarns. And there's um, the website, the web page, whatever. This is 85% superwash merino, 15% nylon, 437 yards, 100 grams. Um, and it's dye lot 174207. And they even have a oh, um, Instagram where you can follow them on ryberry underscore yarns. Or hashtag ryberry yarns. So anyways... Soft, 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 wonderful from Knit Crates. This is still um, the theme, the Nature Study theme. Sock Crate 2018. Um, if you remember, I got that other yarn that came from them. Loved it too. Um, this says lichens and falling logs, tiny downy feathers discovered in long abandoned nests, the quiet calm of a walk in the deep woods. This box calls to mind that feeling of closeness to nature, the simplicity and celebration of misty breaths in cold air, sparkling sunshine on drifts of snow or windy plains, and the wild, untamable world we live within. And in addition to the yarn, they gave, they sent um, a pattern. I should, the Dolly, I won't say the right last name right, Bardwodge Hairpin Socks. So if I'm interested in making that, I can go there and I can download it. Very pretty. They give me a code so I can do that. And, oh, I didn't look for that. I'll have to go in the bag because it said they sent me a button and I didn't see the button. So I will have to look again because I'm, I'm happy about it if, if I can find it. Then in addition to that, they, they send a code for Ryberry Yarns, a code for Cat Designs, which is where the button came from. It says, knit all the socks button. And then they sent a, a code to get a discount on the lady who made the sock pattern. So it's cool. So for, for all of that, I got all of that for, for less than what it cost. And then shipping was free. Or shipping's included, but yet it's still free. So anyways, if you're interested in sock in knit crates, they have many different kinds of boxes. And with the code that I have included on, on the webpage, or the notes, you can get $10 off of a box. And they have many ways that you can um, get money off boxes too. For example, they've just started up a page called Stachio, Distachio. And uh, if you go on there, it's a wonderful place. You can list yarns that you want to trade or that you want to sell. And uh, you could put if, put if you want to mail them or if you just want people to pick them up by hand, you put your location and so people that are local can find you. Um, and if you put 10 of those on there, you can get another $10 off of a box. So, you know, there's lots of ways. I, I really kind of like this pistachio. It's another way for me to get um, my yarns out there and or the yarns that I have in my stash on there because I do have quite a few. I have a lot of pinks that I probably will not use. I bought extra pinks for Cece's thing. And even though my granddaughter loves pink, it's a lot of pink. So I put quite a bit up there. Okay, then Knit Picks is still having 20% off of their Kotlin yarn through today. 
They're also having their rainbow, I think they're called rainbow knitting needles, the wooden ones, that they have on sale. So um, they're on sale for right now. Um, let's see. I say I have a Knit Picks delivery. What did I get from them? I don't remember. Oh, no. I have an order coming from them. I think this is from last week because I haven't gotten another order from them yet. I have a knitting needle I had to order. Um, I did get a nice little surprise, which I haven't broken it out yet. I got a yarn swift. I am so happy. Yay. So now I'll be able to wind up my own yarn without, I was hurting my back using my hand made knitty knotty that we made from PC pipe, P PCP pipes. This will be a lot better for me, I believe, I hope. So I got that. Another thing that made me happy. Let's see, I got a tripod. But I can't figure out how to get it to work with my camera. I This is what happens when you wait until the last minute to... Um, sorry, I just realized I had a mistake on my notes and I wanted to change it. But of course, it's never as easy as you think. But this is what happens when you wait until the day that you go to use something. To discover that you don't know how to use it. So I hopefully when my husband comes home, I will be able to there to um, figure it out. I hope, I hope, I hope. Not tough. I mean, I can adjust it and everything. I just can't figure out how to put my camera on there. Hmm. Then I'm leaving my resolutions up on my blog. And I'm also putting my Yarngasm box of socks. Now I can't, I don't feel like I can put my socks on there for Cece until Cece releases the patterns. But when she does, I'm going to have a few pairs of socks to put in my box of socks because I'm keeping some of them. Some of them are going to the soup kitchen. Some of them might go to family. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, have, haven't had any questions this week about anything, so we don't have to worry about that. I just want to make sure everything's still recording well because I can't see the numbers. <laughs> oh, there they are. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, what I've been reading, watching, and listening to. Watching? I've been watching. Oh, I've been watching. Um, well, of course, I've been watching my Twitch channel, um, Critical Role. They started a new campaign. So all, all their people are level two, which means they're very easy to um, attack and everything. But anyways, I've been watching that. But I've also been watching things like Inspector Lewis and um, Once Upon a Time. I can't even think. Oh, The Crown. I decided to go back and watch The Crown from season from the beginning of season one because I do happen to forget some things once in a while. So <laughs> I've been going back to season one right now and that. But that's pretty much, well, always Doctor Who. It's pretty much all I've been watching. So anyways... Um, old ones that I've been streaming either on Netflix or on um, Prime. So, fun, fun, fun. But I have read <laughs> two fun, one fun book called Siegfried's Smelly Socks. Funny book. Uh, I got this from the online book club. Um, they send them out to people who would like to review them. My review wasn't long enough, so I've got to go in and tweak it some. But I do my. You can still see my book review on um, reading writing is so much more. It's a cute kids book for like three to seven year olds. Fun one to read with others. It's oh, it's just a fun book, and I do put down where you can get that from. Then I read the first Christmas Carol, a miser, a manger, a miracle. I know this has has come out a while ago. But as part of a reading challenge for Goodreads, I read it for them. And it is, I don't like the Christmas Carol. I never have liked the Christmas Carol because the ghost of Christmas future scares me. <laughs> it doesn't matter what, what version I watch. In the Muppets, the ghost of Christmas future scares me. And I have nightmares then. And also the ghost of Christmas present when he opens up his robe and there's the two children. That 
gives me the creeps too. So I don't watch the Christmas Carol usually. My husband, however, Christmas isn't Christmas without the Christmas Carol and without um, the Grinch. I see a theme here. He's not really like that, but I see a theme here. So we always watch them. I'm usually busy with something that needs my attention when we're watching Christmas Carol. Anyways, this book is the Christmas Carol, but it's set in biblical times. And the miser, who is named Ebenezer, is the innkeeper. Really good book. And it's how the whole miracle of Christmas changed him around. So, so good. Um, I couldn't find it on Barnes & Noble anymore, but Amazon has it right now. Um, if you're interested, I would get, I would check it out from Amazon. It's a really good book. Then of course, my daughter hasn't done an entry. I'm going to see if she's still doing her blog because I have a few of you I know that do read it. So I will have to let her know. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I thought that was a garbage truck. <laughs> if so, I was going to have to pause this because my puppy cannot be quiet around the garbage truck. As I mentioned earlier, this is the 100th episode. And we had a little contest whereby you guys just told me knit alongs or techniques or things or patterns that you would like to see done um, on this podcast. Well, we have a winner. She wins. I love this yarn. This skein of stars and sunset it's a gradient it's sparkly it's napier knits yarn <laughs> so she wins this and she wins one ravelry pattern for up to eight dollars as long as it's giftable the winner is poke dej p-o-k-d-e-j d-e-j yes now you do need to contact me. You need to let me know which pattern you're interested in and an address so I can send your lovely, lovely yarn. Yay! Now, along with that, since she was the winning... Oh, this was chosen by Random Number Generator. I put the number of entries we had in Random Number Generator and it picked her out. But because she was also the winner, she has chosen what our next knit along will be starting in march so this gives you until march to get your materials and your pattern she what she requested double knitting now if i can find an easy double knitting pattern on ravelry i will let you know what it is we still have you know all of february to get through so i might be able to post a couple of them um and that way you can even have a better idea of what to do i know we did double knitting last year but it was when i was going to california and so i didn't complete mine in fact i totally frogged it but i'm going to try it again and i don't know if i'll be using the same book i did before or if i'm just going to go with the ravelry pattern but whichever way it is it will start in march so go looking through your patterns go looking through ravelry and get excited about double knitting it will be so much fun i enjoyed it while i did it i just did have issues doing it with my thumb when i was having thumb surgery that was the main issue but i will be picking it up or picking it up again because i did enjoy doing it it's fun to see how it works out so anyways okay so that will be beginning in march now we also have one called crafting for self that's going on right now we have a month to go on it and that's why sorry that's why we're not um starting the other one until march because i want to give everybody another month to get things done for themselves i probably won't be able to show mine because mine is actually a pair of socks that I'm knitting for Cece, but I don't think I, the pattern's not released until middle of March, end of March, somewhere in there. So yeah, I won't be able to show mine until afterwards, but you guys can all show yours. We've had quite a few very creative people. I always say that. You guys are so creative. I just love it. Anyways, the projects were not able to be started before January 1st. 
in the crafting for self. If they fit other people's um, craft alongs, you can double dip. I don't mind. It's fun. As long as you follow everybody's rules. Um, the prizes, of course, once again, I don't have the skein of yarn over here. It's going to be, I believe it's Swallowtail um, yarn. And then a double point needle protector that was donated by Betsy. Um, if I have anybody else donate prizes, sorry, that's my phone just telling me I have a notification. I forgot to turn my volume off. Um, if anybody else would like to donate prizes, just contact me. Um, just PM me. And uh, I will give you my address and we can figure something out. If it's a pattern on Ravelry, um, just let me know price level, excuse me. And uh, when we have a winner, I will be glad to send you their name and address and you guys can talk, contact each other about which pattern and all that. So anyways, the winners are always chosen by random number generator because I do not want to have anybody claim that I'm biased. And like I said, there's too many beautiful creative objects out there for me to pick one. So anyways, um, when you complete an item, you need to start a post in the Ravelry thread with a photo of your finished object and the pattern name if you're using one. Um, you must be a member of the Naturally Kim's Knitting podcast group Sorry, on Ravelry in order to participate. If you're not a member, you cannot win. I'm sorry. The thread will be locked the morning of March 1st and the winners will be drawn that day and announced on the following podcast day. Um, for any and all giveaways, prizes, competition, knit-alongs, etc. that we that I host, the winner has two weeks from the end of the, the knit-along to claim their prize. Just like the 100th episode winner today, she has two weeks to claim her prize and if she doesn't claim it, it just gets put back in the prize bin. So, my puppy is listening for the garbage man. I'm just ready to pause this if need to. Uh, let's see. I thank everybody for understanding about the rules and everything. I believe I have to do a fast scan of... Oh! No! I haven't done my book review! Oh my goodness! See, I take a week off and I totally blow this. We have... This is from Knit Picks. You can also get it on Ravelry, but let me tell you, it's less expensive on Knit Picks. I checked it out this morning. I think it's $14.99 for the hard copy on Knit Picks and for the e-book. E However, if you get it on Amazon, it's like $24, $25. So this is called Twist and Tweed. And I love cables. And I love tweed yarn. I should have put my scarf back on. I don't know why I didn't. This is, this was from 2015, but they, like I said, they do still have it available and they have some beautiful knits in here. They have, this is called an autumn cape. Isn't that pretty? Um, it's made from wool of the Andy Superwash. So this is in the Fjord Heather. Um, I'm trying to see, because I, I looked through this and it's like, oh my goodness, I forgot to look for, there are a few notes on there, but there's so many, I'm not going to read them all. But they do, do not have any kind of um, level for it as far as how hard it is. That's what I was looking for. But it is pretty. It is very pretty. I could possibly make that for myself. I would like that. Then they have a fisherman rib, rib sweater. And it, I don't, yeah, you should be able to see the cables on the top. Isn't that gorgeous to end the cables down the arm? I didn't even notice the cables down the arm. They used, oh, they used DK, 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 100% superwash. Um, I'm sorry, nitpick swish DK. That's a nice yarn. Like I said, I'm using that for my daughter's um, Afghan and I love it. Ooh, it's very pretty. And it's a fisherman rib, which I love fisherman knits. I, I'm thinking about adding to my resolution, resolutions to make another fisherman knit sweater. If I do, it might be for my daughter. I haven't decided for sure. Then they have, this is called the Ballard pullover. And I love the details on that. This is using Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Superwash Wool. And the Delft. Heather. 
so pretty. And there you can see the back and the sleeve and the side view. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness. I, I do look through these ahead of time, but sometimes patterns just yell out at me. And this is the Caroline Cabled Hoodie. Oops, sorry for the glare there. Look at that. I love the cables. I love the ribbing. It's so gorgeous. It truly is. And here you can see, oh, well, maybe the hoodie in the back, and it has a tassel on the end. <laughs> And there's some more pictures. Oh, it's so cute the way the book is. It's hard for, to see it sometimes. And the arm. And there's a picture of the hood. I like the cable there at the back. Very nice. Very nice. The charts look like a little intimidating, but I know take it a row at a time and you could work through that. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous too. This looks like a sleeved poncho. I'll have to look. It's called Harris. This is made out of knit picks wool of the Andy Superwash. So pretty. There's a, I don't want to show the pattern. There's a back view. There has to be more pictures. They always, oh no, there isn't. Then they have, I don't know if I'd make this or not. I don't like, although these buttonholes I could probably do pretty well. The Liana cardigan. Oh, I should tell you what it's made out of. Nitpick City Tweed DK. I like that. It's tweed. Of course I'm going to like it. Let's see if I can get the pictures without giving any of the pattern away. I don't want to show graphs or, or charts or anything because I'm always afraid. I'm, all, I'm not, not a big vest wearer. Although, I used to be. Maybe I will become again. I'd have to make this one a little bit longer if I did. This is called a Vaughn vest. And it has cables. And it has tweeds. Oh, I should tell you. It's made out of wool of the Andes tweed. Sorry, I wanted to look at one of the notes because when the stitching looks interesting, they don't have another picture of that. Hmm. Then they have the Hern, I don't know if it's Hern or Herney, cardigan. I may not do buttonholes, but I may have to for that. That is gorgeous. Oh, that's gorgeous. My son once told me I have more patterns than I can ever knit the rest of my life and he's right I do but sometimes I can't help it <laughs> knit picks has so many gorgeous patterns they also have a lot of beautiful free ones so anyways fall day vest let me make sure I get it so that you can see it's hard to see the details sorry about that it is dark. I was just hoping that we could, maybe it'll be a better picture, or maybe not. Oh, I can't show you that without showing you the graph. Sorry, or the chart. <gasps> Don't you hate it when I do that? <gasps> Watkins Glen, out of Knit Picks Wool of the Andes. I love the color. I love the cables. I love the three-quarter length sleeves. I love the sweater. Oh my goodness. I know somebody else that would wear that sweater. Because she likes three-quarter length sleeves too. Isn't that beautiful? Can't show you the other page because I'm afraid I'll show you the um, schematics. Here's a beautiful... They say it's a poncho. It looks more like a cape to me. But it's called an Oakwood poncho. Oh. <laughs> Get the picture in the page. I like that. Very subtle color work. I think I could probably handle that. Cece's got me working some color work on. I didn't tell you I've got a hat for her I'm making too. 
and it's got a little color work on it. That's just, it's so gorgeous. Love it. Oh. I always think a knit dress would be fun. When I was younger and skinny, I had a knit dress. It wasn't handmade, but we had bought it at the store, and it was beautiful. And it was a beautiful, it was a gold that was more towards the orange side. I used to wear a belt with it. It was beautiful. Well, this is called Lucky Dress. They don't show the, how long it is. They stop it there, but it's made for, from Knit Pick Swish DK. That wouldn't be bad. Huh. See, they show a picture of full length. Oh, I don't know if I can get that in without getting the schematic. It's a, not a bad length. It would take a long time to make. But I could do it. <laughs> Just got to put my mind to it, and I could do it. Oh, then they have one here called Harley, which is made from Swish DK. Oh, I could just start on page one and work my way through this entire book and be very, very happy. Oh, I love sweater coats, too. This is called Belted Coat. That looks like, well, it's Wool of the Andes. Bulky. I thought it looked like it was made from a bulky yarn. Yes. Very pretty. Oh, then they have Chalcedony Mittens. I would like to make those too. I, I like making mittens. I make, like making fingerless gloves. I don't like to make glove gloves. Okay. Oh, the Misty Morn. I can't really see the details really well there. Let me see if they have another picture. Just up the back, but let me see if I can get it without getting it up, giving away. You really can't see much of detail there. It's a beautiful stitch. It truly is. Oh, here we go. I like the stitch. Then, of course, they have all the abbreviations and the collections of yarns that you could use for the different projects. And what I love is they tell you the weight of the yarn and what, what their yarn is made of. But that is twist and tweed. And you saw, I love every single pattern in there. So for me, it was worth the 15 I paid more than $15 for it, I'm sure, because it's on sale right now. But $15. It's a great book. If you love those patterns, you'd love that book. Okay, now. Now I am finished. I don't know how I missed that when I was um, going through my show notes. Because I, there it is. I put it in here. <laughs> and I couldn't find it on Barnes & Noble, so there's not a link to Barnes & Noble. So anyways, now we're at the end of the show, or podcast show. Uh, where can you find me? Well, you can find me on Ravelry as Napier's Knits and Naturally Kim's Knitting. On Etsy as Napier's Knits. On Instagram as Knitten underscore Kim. On YouTube, Blogger, Facebook, and WordPress as Naturally Kim's Knitting. I hope you guys have a healthy week. I hope you have a wonderful week filled with wonderful projects that go smoothly without any mistakes. But if you do have mistakes, I hope they're easy to fix. I love all of you. Big hugs, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.